September 15th, today was uh, another attempt from the president. On this side right here, into thin air, I'll put a link down below. He has some very interesting, fascinating news, investigative reporting. So I'll leave the link down below. Since everybody's talking about this, there's others all over social media and the news talking about this event. I'm going to focus on something else. Okay, here we are in the star charts looking at this from West Palm Beach on September 15th. Well, we have here, okay, I'm using Comet A3, Tucson Khan Atlas as the messenger. Okay, what we have here, we got Mercury moved away from Regulus to King Star, still in Leo, by near the foot of the lion. We have the sun above the head of in Virgo, the Virgin. And we got Venus by the hand, the wheat in Virgo. Now, in the ancient time, 2,000 years ago and longer, Enoch time, these constellations weren't here. So this would have been in Hydra, the snake. We all know Hydra throughout mythology. Comet 12P, I'm bringing 12P into the picture, is located 12P, I haven't gave up on you, in Centurius by the cross right here. And here it is right there. And the spear of the centaur is touching Hydra. Tell you my eyes are hurting guys i have to lay down just to alleviate the pain but uh mercury is considered the messenger it was over here by regulus a couple days ago and the sun was on my prior video was over here by this by the foot so it's moved from here to here and mercury the messenger is moved from here to here and the sun the Ver venus was here and it's moved over here by the wheat the hand the harvest so many titles so many names to it southern cross right there and we all know what hydra captain america uh, the avengers you know that group that they used they fought against basically what we have now so so that's where the stars was located at so that's where that's the planets were located at looking at the stars and we got the moon over here right right near aquarius right there pointers at right there entering the aquarius and we have the Corona Borealis right here waiting on that Nova any time now. Here's a little 101 on the Hydra constellation. And I'll leave the link down below so you could get an idea about Hydra. Okay. So here we've got some images here. We have, here's Eve and the serpent. And here's an image of Tiamat, the great sea goddess and sea serpent. Okay, and here we have the rainbow snake, okay, of the... Uh, uh, Aboriginal people. All right. So when one comes into creation mythology, there seems to be a consistent myth and consistent lineage that is told time and time again, and that is the serpent lineage. It is the basis for all creation myths. Historically, serpents and snake represent fertility or a creative life force. Okay, right here in the Old Testament. In the Old Testament, in the Bible. Garden of Eden and the serpent who was a okay so you got an idea about Hydra let's go to Virgo take a little look here about Virgo I'm telling you I'm having a hard time look see, seeing so let's just see what sticks out well right away Christ this is the biblical okay Virgo holds the wheat in our hands and Christ was said to be the bread of life feeding us wisdom and understanding Virgo consciousness and then we gave birth to the Christ within and our Christ consciousness grows through our meditation. Okay, John 6, bread of life, bread of God. I know there's some things that you guys are seeing, probably seeing the same thing I'm seeing. I'm reading slowly through it. Forgive me. Luke. Luke. Now we're in Genesis. 315 The branch behold the man whose name is the branch Zechariah 612 612 we wrestle against principalities um i know that's a ethesian but there's a lot of things here this is where venus is located 
on September 15th. I'll leave a link down below. Oh, look at this right here. Genesis 1, verse 14. And God said, Let there be light in the filament above the heavens to divide the day from the night and let them be the for signs and for seasons and for days and years can expect a sign from god signs are in the stars signs are in the stars spica right here i know you guys are seeing things things are sticking out christ consciousness oh i tell you i wish i could see i could read this psalms 28 from the rivers upon the end of the earth right here this caught my attention The Christ consciousness comes to us as we meditate upon the light and the sounds within the frequency. Frequency. Um, sounds. I remember making a video when I got my first hundred subscribers with uh, mathematical notes from the center of the galactic center. Beautiful frequency it was. The branch is the Christ within that is born of the virgin consciousness that happens when we leave through behind and meditate on the right on the light of the spirit wow so much here here's some tourists southern cross which so this is a mother's sign this the mother and the child okay what else i see Oh, Centurus, Centurus. And there's the Southern Cross right there. It has to say about this. The Bible tells us that God names the stars. Centurus, the bright, the leg of Centurus, the beginning and the end, which is telling you and is confirmed in the next verse. Revelation 1, verse 8. I am the Alpha and the, and the Omega, the beginning and ending. Southern Cross. Isn't that something? That's where Comet 12P is right right there. Somewhere some right where my pointer is at. Comet 12P got a lot of attention. I'll leave a link down below this of this site here. The message here is the branch. And there's I know there's more in here. So that's what we had today. And this is the site right here. Interesting information. Putting all the Bible verses, connecting it took a lot of work to do something like this now i have more on this asteroid 2024 pt5 which is supposedly pretty soon i guess in the late september early october to november it'll be like like a moon i mean it was just discovered on august 7th i saw it on mary site and i'll make another video separate video on this this was newly discovered but yet they have the orbit basically right parallel with our orbital plane of earth and you wonder where is apophis see if i could put apophis and this one together and then we got october 13th well october 9th well seven eight nine on 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 up right in front right in front it's going to be coming out of the saxon over by hydra constellation and entering virgo so all this connects it's just that i have to put the pieces or i'm gonna try to put the pieces or i'm putting the piece on the table it all connects there's a message here there's a sign so this is what happened on september 15th okay until next time please give me a thumbs up subscribe and till next time there's mucho mucho mas it's just that uh my energy is being diverted. I'm on a self-preservation mode. If you know what I mean. Okay, until next time. Red Father out.